right, here we are. Canadian junkyard. Okay, pro tip here. Hey everybody, welcome back to your favorite YouTube show, Fixing Random Crap with Craig. What we are uh, working on today, as you can see, we did some panel molds in the uh, in the living room, uh, all the way around down here. It turned out uh, turned out not bad. A little bit over here on this side too. Uh, but what we want to do now is try to go up the stairs with them. So we're gonna have one uh, square one here. You can see there's that top line there is going to be the uh the chair rail or the casing and then the panel mold is going to be kind of there underneath but things get interesting when we start to go up the stairs here um because our cuts are no longer 45 degrees we're gonna have three panels on the way up here um and that uh, piece of chair rail is going to go all our casing is going to go all the way to the top and then kind of cut in there um but I've learned a little bit about how to make these cuts that was a little more uh, challenging than I thought it was going to be based on the saw. So we're going to tell you a little bit about that. Okay, so here's our diagram. Um, we have the, uh, the box at the bottom and we have our three boxes up the top. We've measured this point where we plan to start the boxes up to this point where we plan to end them. It actually should be in the picture. It's lined up more with that point there. That was 136 and a half. So we divided that by, um, well, first we minused off the four inches in between the two. So 136 and a half minus eight, 128 and a half. Divided that by three, we get 42.83, and it's about 42 and seven eighths between, it's about a little less than 42 and seven eighths. Anyway, we're going to call it 42 and seven eighths. We're not building a piano here. So that's great. And then we used this cool little uh, majigger here. This picked up at, uh, at the store for a few bucks, so it allows you to measure these uh, your angles. Um, and I wanted to measure that one and that one. So we have it mapped out on the wall. We kind of have it drawn. We've drawn all our lines. There's really cool like uh, digital ones of these that are more expensive. This was like five bucks, so it seems like it's probably going to work okay. So we know that that one is about 52, and this one is about um, 128. And uh, we're gonna go outside now and take a look at the saw, figure out how we're gonna cut those. Okay, we're back. Pretty cold day in the uh, gray white north today. About minus, minus 30 with the wind chill um, Celsius, but I think it's about the same in Fahrenheit once it gets to that point. Anyway, um, so here we are. We've got our 52 and our 128. And I have some arrows here that I can explain in a second. So my understanding is I'm supposed to take that number, divide it in half, and those two angles will come together to make that um, make that corner. So it's kind of hard with one hand. I really need to invest in a, uh, in a tripod. But when I cut the, um, when I set the saw to 26 and I made these cuts, I thought they were gonna end up being the, um, that top corner, like, um, like that corner up there, right? Cause that's when it says 52. But when I put them together, it's more the corner here. So imagine this one being, uh, if I could do this a little bit differently. Imagine this being the one uh, straight up, and then that one goes up the, up the wall kind of thing. So that's about that, that's the angle that I'm looking for there. It just ended up being this angle and not that angle. The one across. So, that's cool. I think that means that uh, it'll probably happen is that when I cut at 64 degrees, it'll be the one for down in this corner, down here. Now, that brings us to our next interesting situation, and it is that if I look at my saw, it only goes to 50 degrees in each direction. So, that's a problem. Uh, I want to cut this end of this one, so I'm just going to set this one aside for a second. And I'm going to set that aside too. So the thing that I learned uh, from a really cool YouTube channel that uh, I just watched, and I'll make sure I put a, a little shout out to that in the bottom, is to take a piece of scrap wood, clamp it down so that it's not really going to move, 
and set it to 45. And cut it. Okay, now we're gonna go set it to this 45 over here. And we're gonna cut it again. That's gonna give me this little triangle, which I'll throw on the ground because I don't need it. What I need is this part here. So, what will happen now is when I take a piece that is um, cut flat, I'm going to have to trim that so that it's flat. Actually, no, as long as it's up against that right there, then I should be good, right? So, essentially, now zero becomes 45. So, if I want to get to... Oops, I'm going to move the... Sorry, I just put you down by the stick. If I want to get to... Just came off. I'll have to fix that up. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, we're back. So we have these two clamped down better now and back in place. So now if I put this piece in here um, and then I adjust this to 19 degrees, uh, because remember zero is 45 plus 19 is 64. So if I keep this nice up against that. 45 degree edge there, I'm going to be able to make this cut at um, hopefully 64 degrees. So I can't do it with uh, with one hand, so I'm going to turn this off and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that worked pretty well. No problem. Now what we want to do is cut the other half of that angle. So this one is going to go, I get the idea, it's going to go up into that corner. So we got to cut the other side of this 64. And to do that, I'm going to take this piece here, and we're going to do it from this side. So I'm going to swing this over to 19 degrees this way, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. I'll show you how we set it up. I'll just go here. Hopefully this goes pretty well. It's about 19 right there. And uh, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to put it in here like this. And try it. Sorry, I've got to point the camera I'm doing. I'm going to try and cut that. Okay, that worked great. So now we have our 64 degree uh, cut. Well, that's 128 really there. Divide by 2, 64 on each side. And we're able to do that by um, setting up our sort of jig there on the saw. So obviously this piece is too long right now. I'm going to cut that, but it's going to go down. And there, so that'll be the other, uh, what did I say, 20, 26 degree cut. So that'll be another 26, and then we'll come down and we'll have another one of these. This corner down here will be just like that corner, and this one will be like that one. So we'll see how it looks uh, when we get it all done. Okay, so the cut that we saw out on the driveway was this one, but this piece was way too long. So we're going to cut this down now. We have the measurement of 15 and 3 eighths. I have that marked. And now this corner is the same as this corner. So we're going to set this to 26. So I have this mark. This is the shorter piece. That's 15 and 3 eighths there. So we're going to go to um, 26 degrees. But on the other side, dun, dun, oh, it went too far. And also my, this thing slipped again. I'm going to have to fix that. But then what we're going to do is I'm going to fix that and then we're going to use this flat edge as the fence. Uh, so we don't have to take this on and off every time. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, there's the view of that fixed up again. And we're going to have, we use this as the fence now. A little piece of, the little jig that becomes the fence. And then we're going to cut that at, uh, at 26 degrees. Okay, that worked out good. So now we're going to cut this piece down to here. So that's going to start with the 23. And then we'll put a 64 on this end. And then we'll cut the last little piece. We're going to start off by getting the correct 20, um, I think I said 23 before, with the 26 degree um, cut on this piece. And it is going to need to be the other way. So I'm going to move, I can use two hands so that my thing doesn't fall apart. And I'm going to move this to 26 on this side. Okay, we're over to 26 over here. What we're going to do is just again using that, uh, that as the fence. We're just going to cut. A nice 26 degree cut on that one, and then we'll get our length measured. Okay, that looks good there now. So 23 is not 26 is nice. We're gonna go down here and put a 64 on this corner. 
Okay, so we're ready here to make this cut. This is the one that we just saw down on that corner. Um, so this is the piece we want to cut. I've marked here my uh, my mark there. That's my 42 and whatever it is, 7 eighths there. Um, but when I if I want to go cut this at 60, I want to put that in there, like I can't, it's too long, right? So what I'm going to do, I've decided, is cut it just flat. I've brought myself back to zero degrees here. I'm going to cut it straight right on my line, and then I'll be able to butt it up against that to get the proper uh, angle on it. So we're going to try that. Okay, so we cut that flush. We put ourselves back to 19 degrees, which is 64 degrees. We're going to go up here, butt this up against that, and cut our 64. It should be perfect. Okay, our box is coming together nicely. Just need to do this last piece here. So we'll start on that. Okay, got this piece measured out. 15 and 3 eighths is right there. That's how long I want it to be. Again, I want this to be at 64 degrees. One thing I'm learning is that what I should have done is in each case with these pieces, cut the bigger angle first um, because then I would be able to cut straight across here. I can have it on the on the fence and not have to worry about the whole thing that I did with the uh, at the 64 last time. So I'm going to cut this flush again and then I'm going to set this up to cut at the 64 and then in the future I'm all for each one of these I'm always going to cut the angle that requires this first and then I can cut my 26 degree and I won't have to do this whole cut the edge off thing so that was a little lesson learned okay it's cut flat we're back to 19 on this side which is going to be 64 we're going to cut this hopefully she fits like a glove and it's official we have our first box so just going to do that three more times and uh, slap them up on the wall Fun day. Okay, we are almost done the rough installation here. I'll show you how we're looking. Also, I'd like to mention that it's very helpful if you can have a, an assistant. I've got a great assistant on staff today, let me tell you. So, and the last tip, and I'm gonna show, uh, Abe's gonna show us how we put in the last pieces here. But one thing that I like to try to do, hi. I like to try to put like one nail in at the end so that that, so that then you have some movement up here. So like I'm gonna tack this one down there and then we're gonna tack that one at the top and then once we get them lined up perfectly, yep. then we'll put all the last nails in. So yep. I'll and show you how that goes. Also we're gonna have to go to Home Depot get it. Snow yeah, snow. we're short one piece up there. Daddy knew that, but we're we'll make a trip to Home Depot two. after. Yeah, we need two, more. two more. Okay, so here we're gonna. I'll stop the video. Okay, my assistant's gonna do the final nail of the day. Hit it. Yeah. Good job. Hi, I'm Ava. Ah, there you go, celebrity assistant here. Ava. So we're pretty good. There's a few little gaps here and there, um, like you know that's gonna need a little bit of caulking. We're going to caulk all of these corners and all of the nail holes and uh, paint it up and uh, hopefully it'll look pretty great. Ava? All right, you're going to say bye to, the, uh, bye, to the, bye to your fans? Bye to Ava. No, that's silly. There we go. All right. All the caulking is done. Paint's going on. And uh, we're almost done. Careful, heads, you don't touch the walls. They're going to be... I can still see it's a little bit, a little bit wet up there, still glistening, but uh, a few more coats. She should look, uh, okay. look pretty good, sort of like it does over there. All right, we'll see you next time on fixing random crap with Craig. No, fixing random crap with Ava. All right, cool. Love me. Okay. All right, there it is, the final product from upstairs. Still needs a few coat or two of paint, but she's looking pretty good. Later.